Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is meant by EDTO and how is it useful. What is EDTO? EDTO stands for Extended Diversion Time Operations. EDTO is a set of rules and guidelines established by aviation authorities. These rules regulate the maximum time duration that an aircraft can fly to a suitable airport in the event of an engine failure. This ensures the safety of everyone on board an aircraft, especially on long-distance flights. EDTO is applicable on aircraft having two or more engines. Let's understand this in more detail. Threshold Time to understand EDTO, we need to first look at the meaning of threshold time. This is a defined time period within which an aircraft should be able to fly to an en route alternate in case of an emergency. Let's consider an aircraft flying from A to B. On this route, if the en route alternates are available within the threshold time, the aircraft does not require an EDTO approval. However, if the diversion time to an en route alternate is more than the threshold time, an EDTO approval is required. Concept of EDTO Normally, the threshold time is 60 minutes. This means, for an aircraft flying from A to B, in case of any failures, such as an engine failure, an en route alternate should be available within 60 minutes. This could mean that the aircraft may have to fly a longer route to stay in the 60-minute circle of different airports. If the aircraft has an EDTO approval, the route can be shortened. An aircraft will get an EDTO approval in increments of 30 minutes from the threshold time. Let's consider an aircraft having an EDTO approval of 90 minutes. This means, in the event of a failure on the aircraft, the en route alternate should be available within 90 minutes instead of 60 minutes. So if we plot 90 minute circles from different airports, the route from A to B will look like this. This is a shorter route, which means less flying time and less fuel. Terms used in EDTO EDTO entry point. This is the point where an aircraft exits the threshold time circle and enters the EDTO segment. EDTO segment. The section of the flight route where the time to an en route alternate will be greater than the threshold time. EDTO exit point. The point where an aircraft enters the threshold time of an airport or exits the EDTO segment. Equal time point. A point on the EDTO segment where the time taken to fly to the en route alternates is the same. Advantages of EDTO. As seen before, with an EDTO approval, an aircraft can have a more direct routing, which means less flight time and less fuel consumption. Another advantage is that on particular routes, if there are no alternates available, within the threshold time, an EDTO approval would give clearance to an aircraft to fly on these routes. Aircraft Requirements for EDTO For an aircraft to be approved for EDTO, the engines and certain significant systems play a crucial role. Some of the requirements are a fail-safe airframe and engine operation, your management system, independent AC electrical power sources, cargo fire protection and equipment cooling, time limited systems, operator requirements. For conducting EDTO operations, the airplane operator has to fulfill certain requirements, such as obtain approval for conducting EDTO flights. 
follow EDTO-specific maintenance practices, able to facilitate safe diversion if required, and ensure airplane management, establish EDTO area of operations, EDTO training, system for obtaining EDTO flight plan data, That's all for my video on the extended diversion time operations. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.